Grammy winner Stephanie Mills has lit up the Broadway stage and rocked the music charts. Now she stars in Pride, a Seven Deadly Sins story as Birdie, who has a bakery and a reality TV show. Both get complicated when she gives her granddaughter half the family inheritance. Take a look. My sister is not here. I am. I'm the one put all the hustle in. It wouldn't even be no TV show if it wasn't for me. You don't even know nothing about you two. It's not about the TV Mama, show. Listen. It's about the bakery. All my recipes, I developed them with Tasha. And who stayed with you every night and every weekend while I was out building the business? Your sister. And then she was gone. Ooh, and Stephanie is with us now. <laughs> Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Listen, this gives us a little taste of what a reality show is like, and it can get really ugly, yes. as we see. Now, Especially a family business. A family business. Now, after doing this movie, would you like a reality show, or no. has it totally turned you off no, from it? No, I would not do a reality show. No, I've been, I've been asked to do so many in the past, I will not do it in Oh, so people have been asking yes. through time. You're yes. Like, yeah, no, it's, it takes a certain person, I think. I, yeah, it does. Show. It takes a certain personality, and I don't want to be on all the time or a camera on me all the time. Some no. things need to be private. Yes. Yes. That's what I think. Yeah. I think so. Well, baking doesn't have to be private, though, and Birdie has a bakery. I can't bake either. I was going <laughs> to say, are you a baker yourself? No. I'm not oh, a baker. No. I'm not a baker. But uh, so this was a stretch for you. It Let's was a just... stretch. <laughs> it was a stretch, but it was wonderful because it's about pride, and I think so much about pride hurts and destroys our family. Yes. When you can't say I'm sorry or I yes. didn't mean it, and your pride stands in the way. So I hope when people uh, see it on on Saturday, they walk away thinking, okay, I'm not going to be prideful, so prideful, yeah. that I won't say I'm sorry. And it is, and it's a simple thing to do, and, it, and people, it's so hard for some people, and it's then very it ruins hard. families and it relationships. It does, it really does. Yeah, well, you've been on Broadway, you've had a successful music career, but this yes. is the first time you've had a starring role in a movie. So what did it feel like? How was the experience for it you? It was wonderful. I'm six, I just turned 66. I mean, amazing. So I'm, it was wonderful. We, we flew to Vancouver and did it in 17 days. We shot the film in 17 oh days. And of course, uh, Gabe uh, plays my son, nephew Tommy, and Kenya King plays my daughter-in-law and a special guest appearance by Erica Campbell. Yeah. And what, what do you think surprised you the most about filming this movie and, and having this experience it really wasn't as hard as I thought it was the I only thing that. I was worried about was remembering my lines yeah you know but it really wasn't that hard but I understand how people get paid a lot of money to do it because it's long hours 16 hour days and coming back it's but a it was lot of sitting around. it's a lot of sitting around but I uh, because I was in so many scenes I didn't sit around too much yeah I know. but it true. was it was fun I enjoyed it I think my my uh, theater career helped me for my sure. theater training helped me definitely yeah and you sang for this film with Erica Campbell right a little bit a little, a little bit. bit yes a little bit uh-huh yeah people think thought I would I took it because I didn't sing because I didn't want to do something just singing yeah so we did a little bit yeah we have fun well you mentioned that this movie I mean the theme of this movie is pride yes what makes you the most proud my son I'm proud of of my son, he's 22 now, and I'm proud of my baby. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, as a mom, it's hard to not be proud of it's, your kids. That's the right? best thing I've ever did. Yeah. Yes, have my son. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that way too. I've got three, and it's hard to see who I'm most proud of. I know. At I know. Times. And you just like, there's no <laughs> love like a mother's love. There is no love. Uh, but the Wiz, let's talk about the Wiz. Wiz okay. coming to Broadway. It is coming to Broadway. Would you have uh, any advice for whoever would be stepping into the shoes of Dorothy? Oh, no. I would never <laughs> give anyone advice. Um, I was 17 when I started on Broadway in the Wiz, and I stayed in it for five years. So I just, I give love. I pass the torch on and let them enjoy, let her create her own Dorothy and be what she wants it to be. Yeah, and Home is like your signature song. Yes. From The Wiz. I mean, do you still sing it? Do people still want to hear you sing oh, it? Oh, absolutely. I've, yeah. I've, I'm, on, I'm still on tour, and uh, people pay their hard-earned money to come see me, and I appreciate that. Yeah, well, I know that you're a songwriter, too. Let's bring it back to the movie for a second. If you could write a song based on your experience from the movie, what would it be about? 
from the movie Pride. Yeah. Uh, I did write a song. You did? Yes. I think, I don't know if you heard it in the in the music or not, but I, we did write a song uh, in the show, but it would be about love and not being prideful and being compassionate. Yeah, which I feel like is who you are as a person at your core. I am. At oh, my core, I you am. Have such a great energy. I can thank feel you. it as soon as you walked in. So thank you so much for oh. being here with me today. And you can catch Pride, a Seven Deadly Sins story when it premieres Saturday, April 8th at 8 p.m. on Lifetime. Stephanie, thanks so much. Thank you.